Well, most of the panels are in. There's only two left. And once those um, chip rock panels go on, they be it for the first layer. And in the meantime, while I'm sort of taking a rest in putting them on, I'm actually uh, sealing them all the all the gaps and the edges. Um, that's my sealant, silicon sealant. So I'm going around and just sealing all the corners so there's no air gaps. Um, so that when I put the second layer of the Jeep Rock on, everything underneath it is also sealed. alternating between sealing and putting the Jeep rocks in so I can have a break and, uh, and, and rest because putting the uh, silicon sealant um, is not as hard and heavy lifting as this big heavy <sighs> they're heavy panels I can tell you that much anyway I will keep on sealing <music> That was the last screw of the last panel of the first layer of plasterboard or jib rock or drywall or shit rock, whatever. Uh, so now um, the room is all covered and as you can hear there's lots of echo in here. Um, well, as you heard, it's a lot of uh, reverberation in here. Yeah. That, that was... This has been quite an intensive thing. Jeep rocking, I tell you. Um, people who do this for their living every day. Man. <laughs> Hope they know what they're doing. They sure know what they're doing. It's not an easy task to actually do. Um, especially these thick ones to, to put in. I guess normally there would be a two or three people doing it at the same time, so it won't be as, as hard as what I'm doing. But um, yeah, it's all complete now. Hmm. Hopefully by next few days I'll be ordering the second layer of the Jeep Rock, and they should arrive by end of next week. So next weekend I'll be putting the second layer of the Jeep Rock. It should be much easier um, than this layer because it is um, a different thickness I was going to put the two layers of the same thickness like this one uh, 16 millimeter but I read somewhere that because each material and each density has certain um, resonance and because it's, it's layered on top of each other so there is still some gap in between. Um, so I was sort of an idea was there that 
a different thickness or the second layer might have different resonance than the first one so that the whole frequency doesn't uh, transfer through um, from one to the next. Just like when you actually have glasses, um, when you have a control room and you've got glass in between and you have two glasses separated by an air gap in between, those glasses are separate thickness as well. So it's the same concept for the uh, drywall that I'll be putting. So I'll be putting 10 mil in there. So it's just, yeah, just above half the thickness. This is 16, so it's going to be 10 on top of this one. So that's why it's going to be a little bit easier for me to put in. Plus, you'll have, because of the different thicknesses, have different resonances and hopefully have better effect uh, of uh, sound transmission loss than the same thicknesses. So they're not sort of vibrating at the same frequency, but at different frequencies. So uh, that's the concept anyway, that's the idea. So I'll, I'll see how that goes. But um, it's, it's, it's all good. So it's been um, eight or eight, nine months, thereabouts, since I actually started here. So it's been pretty um, long term thing for me. Mm. Anyway, so another milestone finished and hopefully my plan is to actually get to um, move in here um, by July. So I've got a month to finish it off. So the electrician has to come in to finish it off all the electrical uh, points and put the power in here and I got to do the floors and air conditioning the guy who's already been here this morning he came in um, we made the hole we placed it where it needs to go and um, at the moment I'm gonna use that to get power in here so when the door is closed um, we'll have power coming from there so it's already, the unit is already here, that's the um, internal unit and the outside unit is sitting in my garage, so it's all ready to go as well, which is good, so not long to go, not long to go, so there we go, all walls completed. Well, all of the edges between the uh, plasterboard, all the joints, have been sealed now so we're all sealed every crack has been filled with the uh, special silicon cork so that should seal it so I guess uh, by tomorrow it should be dry all ready and then when I put the, um, the next layer on underneath it it's already been sealed including all the power points all the um, lights at the top so all of them have been sealed so that it's as airtight as, as I can. And I had an extra tube left of um, the corking tube, the silicon tube. I thought right in here there's a small gap which actually I realized that actually has access to the inside cavity between the, the two walls. So I thought, uh, well, might as well use make a use of that as well. So that's all sealed all around as well so all around the door has been sealed um, with that uh, silicon so um, even any air inside the, um, uh, the the cavity between the two walls so won't come out from here as well similar to what I've done uh, in the roof in my earlier videos um, so that no air inside the cavity actually goes out um, either way, so as much as you can, you know, um, there's always going to be uh, some uh, air escaping. <laughs> I've got a uh, whole um, ducting there with exhaust fan. You know, it's, it's obviously the place is not fully sealed, but as much as you can if you seal it. So that should actually help um, the door sealing as well, because that's the weakest point. The door is the weakest point. So we need to be able to seal it as much as we can. Yeah, I think that's it for today. Hmm, I think I've done enough. 
I'm pretty exhausted putting the, uh, the last uh, three uh, plasterboards and then sealing it um, and everything else and cleaning it up. So, all good. Here's a quick experiment, non-scientific. I'm inside and the door is closed and obviously at this stage I've got all the plasterboard up as well as the sealant and I just measured with an SPL meter the ambient noise in this room which is about 32 to 33 dB or thereabouts anyway and I thought I'll do some experiment I do have a very, a very, very noisy, should I say noisy? Yes, did I mention noisy? Yes, did I mention noisy? Yes, very noisy um, uh, vacuum cleaner, which is quite noisy. So I'm going to test it and I'm going to run the uh, vacuum just sitting there, measure the sound level inside and then I'm going to take the camera outside and see and go around the building and see how much of that noisy vacuum cleaner we can hear it outside. It's uh, because it's a wide noise, wind noise, so it's not like um, music, but it, was, it might give better um, uh, perspective of the noise in here anyway. So let's give it a try. You guys ready? I'm just going to turn the sensitivity of the microphone of the camera low so it won't uh, <laughs> distort. Here we go. Turn the microphone sensitivity back up again. And outside, fifty-four, fifty-five from eighty something. So that's right at the front of the door. So let's move. So just the noise, the ambient, the cars, and the bees, and an ambulance. But I certainly can hardly hear the, that damn noisy vacuum cleaner. Anyway, let's go back. And when we come to the front, as I mentioned always, uh, the front is the weakest point. And that's where we can actually hear the noise. Even if we come just past the point of, of the door, you can hardly hear it. Nothing from here. All the sound is coming from the door. vacuum cleaner can you believe that tiny thing is making that much noise that's how it's always been it's just that's why it's ended up in here so I can vacuum all the dust uh, yeah so 
hopefully then when I have the second door installed and then the sealant you know it'll be the same effect as being around uh, the building so you can't actually hear it outside you can hardly hear it you can tell um, next time I'll might bring some um, a CD player or hi-fi small hi-fi system and play some music measure it about uh, 75 80 dB bit louder than what I normally listen to and see how much of that music is actually going out another experiment to do see you later